leaves on the trees are starting to change color and it's getting a little cooler out now so you know what that means fall is upon us so now would be as good time as any to go play some hickory golf let's get it We hit it a little more right than we wanted. We're just in the rough here. But we got a line at the green. Let's see what we can do with it. We got a decent wind in our face. I'm gonna try to get a two iron on this. Looks like we overclubbed a smidge. We're just off the back, but not by much. Oh, we got a back pin, so a hop, skip, chip. As long as we can get it close, we can get our par. Oh, I whiffed on it. Did not commit. Why couldn't I do that the first time? Let's try to get out of here with a bogey. There we go. That's a good recovery. Let's try a par three. Wouldn't that be sick if we got a hole in one with the hickories on film? Give it a swing with the jigger. I seem to do really well with this club on this hole. Oh baby. That's a little money. Get up there. Picked a little to the left, but it might have still got a piece of the green. Yeah, that hop skip to the left kind of took the forward momentum out of it. We're still a chip and a putt away. See if I can actually execute said plan correctly this time. Oh, again. Looks like my short game doesn't want to play ball. That's when you just grab the Texas wedge. should just be another bogey that should be a par. Just gotta work my short game out with the hickories. And hey, we're doing damage control. We're not letting it get out of hand. So that's a good thing in its own right. Let's see how I stack up on the hardest hole on the golf course with hickories. Number one handicap hole on the course. We got the brassy in hand. We all know how temperamental this club can be. This could either go very good or very bad. Oh, baby, I'll take that. That's about as straight as you can go with this brassy. Oh, we sent that right down the middle. You got a good angle with the green. to get a two iron on to it. Oh dear. And we hit that heavy. We got a tailwind. He's gonna try to get a mashy up there. And we're just off the back on the fringe. After hitting three out of the middle of the fairway, just wanted to make sure I got it there. 
but in hindsight, I could have hit a mashy niblick and that would have been the club. not doing too bad a few shots i'd like back but i've hit a few that i'll take to the grave like that brassy shot and to top it off we got one of my favorite cigars burning the christoph san andreas i got a pretty good hickory round going right now i'm 41 on the front nine just about to start the back let's get another couple holes on camera just because we're actually grooving pretty good despite some of our foibles Poke a nice two iron down this short dog leg left par four. Oh, that'll do just fine. That's what I like to see in the short grass with a good look at the green. Let's get a five iron onto it. That should get us there. Baby, this could be real good. Get up. Oh, it was online. Spike. Not a bad result for a bump and run with the jigger. A little bit of meat on the bone. But we got a par chance. Let's see if we can convert. Stay right there. Get in there. Get in there. There's a par. There's an up and down. Let's keep that mojo going with some par three action. A little mashy niblick action on this one. I'll be the club, baby. Get up. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. How's that for some mashy niblick action? Birdie chance coming. Turn. Oh. Oh, we gave it a chance, Ralph. Well, we got our par. Two pars in a row. Let's keep this round going. I got to finish it now. I'm literally on track to shoot the greatest 18 hole score I ever shot for Hickory Golf. So we're at the 18th hole and I'm sitting at 40 through eight of the nine holes on the back nine. So if I par this hole, I shoot 85. If I bogey, I shoot 86. So we're in good standings to break 90 for the first time with Hickory Golf Clubs. It all comes down to this hole. Let's get it. Bit high, but it's straight. So we didn't get the most distance out of that one, but it went straight. But we got well over 200 yards left to go because we did poke that one up in the air quite a bit. But if I'm gonna miss hit it, I'll take that miss hit all day. We actually got quite a nice lie here. So I'm going for broke, well over 200 yards out. One iron off the deck.
Yeah, that was a risky play. We had to go for it though, because we were well over 200 yards out, but we topped it. So we got a good way to go. The green is just over that hill. Probably where I want to go is between the church and those power poles right in the middle of them. Get away. Nah, not enough gas on that one. So I just got to work on my short game, really, and my hickory game should be tight. Give it a little bump and run with the mashy niblick. And the lip killed it. Turn! Oh, nothing wrong with that weight, though. So after tallying up the back nine score, I got 46 on the back. Even though I had more pars on camera on the back, I had more double bogeys off camera on the back. So 46 and 41 makes 87, which is still the best 18 hole round of hickory golf that I have ever shot. So let's do a round breakdown. Because unfortunately this is the one round that I filmed that I wish I had every single hold good and bad on camera. Basically in a nutshell, all my crap holes barring this triple bogey on the ninth hole were on film. Because as you can see, I started off par par. Then there's three, which is the first hole I played on camera. I bogeyed. Then I bogeyed the par three fourth on camera bad short game kicked in and then I double bogeyed number five because I had to take an extra shot out of the fairway and I hit my mashie a bit long then I came back with a three par streak before getting the triple bogey let's see one two three four five so five of the nine holes I parred so I could have just cut the vlog there and had some decent footage, but I saw that 41. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get some footage of the back nine because despite catching literally a majority of my mistake holes on camera for the front nine, I still have a chance to shoot potentially my best round of hickory golf ever. And that turned out to be the case. Now let's break down the back nine. So as you saw in the video, we parred the 10th hole. Then unfortunately we made a double bogey on the 11th because we had a lost ball, one of two in the round, the other being the triple bogey on the 9th. But we were able to keep this one a double. Then we bounced back with a par on the 12th. Then for 13, 14, 15, we just had an 18 carat run of bad luck and bad short game. Basically, we were short of the green in two on both these par fours. And we just needed our third shot chip shot to get up. And much like you saw in the front, we just couldn't commit to it. Then on 15, same deal. Just a little short of the green, had to chip it up. Watched it come back to me because of these Donald Ross greens are elevated and sloped. So it didn't get all the way up and it came back to me. So I was lying three just to get on the green and then I two putt it once I was on said green for the double. Then we bounced back with a par on the par five. Then same thing, literally a mirror hole. Short and two, because it didn't get up. Had to use the third shot to get it on and two putt it for the double. And then we closed with a double because same thing, bad short game. But the pars literally saved us from going into the 50s. There's only one proper way to celebrate today's accomplishment. Some good scotch whiskey. New Scott out.